and cosine theta and cosine theta is taken as four fifth. So that's the force component magnitude. Then you need the distance, so you move it here. This is going to go from here up to here, so that becomes two. So that's just the magnitude. Then you need the directions. Then about this point, this force will create a rotation which is in clockwise direction. <coughs> so your actual moment is 3, 50, 4, 5, and 2. And the directional sense on that is clockwise. And that's positive. But if you notice here that if you put, I mean, if you go clockwise, your thumb is going in, which means it's really a negative k direction. So what I could do is I could change this to negative and then make this counterclockwise. So by switching direction from clockwise to counterclockwise, you have to attach a negative sign. Or in other words, this is the same thing as 3, 50, 4, 5th, and a 2 with the negative and a counterclockwise sign. And since we're taking this as positive k, so <coughs> you place a negative sign to account for that. Then we got one more. We got this one here. So you'll have negative, I'm sorry, 350, 3 fifth. The distance for this is from here to here, and that's 3. So that gives you the magnitude, but then you need the direction. So about this point, I mean, if the force is going like this, the tendency is going to be clockwise. So if it's clockwise, you have to make this negative and switch this around to counterclockwise. So <coughs> now if we compare uh, what we have here with what I have here, the two should be same. See, the first one is 9500 sine 45. You got exact same thing, 9500 sine 45. Then the second one is 7500 cosine 45. You have same thing here, 7500 cosine 45. And it's positive. <coughs> then these two came out to the negative, and you have 3, 3, 5, 3, 50. That's the last term there. Then you have 2, 3, 50, 4, 5. And that's this <coughs> term here. So if you go through the actual calculation, you're going to get the exact <coughs> same number as 4466 newton meter and it's going to be in counter clockwise direction which is the same thing as 4466 newton meter times k and if you want to go that route then that's going to be k so <coughs> what we try and say is that for problems which are in two dimensions this one is a, I mean, so it takes I mean, less steps to actually find the resultant moment, and that's recommended. So, <coughs> for plain problems, you really don't want to go through the R cross self. You just want to look at the problem and use the scalar approach to find the moments and then you can add those to find the resultant moment. Now we need to go through one more example.